A big night at one of the most famous venues in world football. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Inter facing Porto. Well, the first game of the group is so vital. You just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. The Inter starting lineup. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And a look at the starting lineup for Porto. Well, the 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full-back and winger, and of course the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway and that's very good refereeing to let the play flow can they trouble the opposition this time well didn't go to plan in the end well that is how to play advantage opportunity to deliver the cross there's a slide draw pass Oh, it was a close run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. Paremi. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, he needed to read it to get there and did. Dzeko. Well, you know, as good as his goal-scoring record is, I think many still underestimate Edin Dzeko, Stewart. But what do you expect from him in this match? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal-scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Well, not great from the keeper. Dzeko. Now with Martinez. Must score! And a decent save. Full credit. Well, following on from the previous incident, he sees yellow now. And he's fired over the corner. Not away completely. Martinez and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end Eva Nilsson he continues his run textbook defending inside the box free kick awarded then by the referee well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy-nilly. Well, the free 
kick taken, but saved easily by the keeper. Federico Di Marco. Martinez. And nicely struck. Well, it turned out to be fairly routine for the keeper in the end. Well, I've been impressed with Inter's general play. They've passed it well, they've had some good movement, and they've created numerous chances, as you can see. But their finishing just hasn't been good enough. Quite simply, they just need to get on the ball more than they have been. Well, denied by the woodwork this time. Well, the keeper was beaten, but the woodwork wasn't. That's a sharp chance. big sigh of relief that nearly proved costly well he got away with that one didn't he it's a good recovery though Porto have given it away the referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time well that's going to be all for the first half here at the San Siro Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, I actually think he's worked really hard in the first half, and he's unlucky not to be on the score sheet. It was a really good effort that hit the woodwork, but he'll need to show similar energy in the second 45 minutes in what is a tight game. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Dzeko... must score and a decent save full credit now well, following on from the previous incident he's quite simply they just need to get on the ball more than they have been And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Eustachio. Promising sequence. Real chance. And it's in! Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, underway once again. Will Inter be able to articulate an appropriate response? Chalanolu. Dumfries. Now Dzeko. Perfect tackle. Well, they've lost the ball. And into the last 30 minutes now. Dzeko. And he's won the ball. Now can they create something? Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Marcelo 
And short it is. Electing to cross into the centre. Well, thumped clear. Very quick thinking there. Well, these Inter players need to step it up here because their fans have been brilliant. Can they get this equaliser? Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Dumfries. Just 15 minutes remaining. Chance to do damage. A good and fair challenge. Dumfries. It's with Chalanolu. Time and the scoreline against Inter, but they're not out of this. Chalanolu. Martinez. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Steven Eustachio. Eva Nilsson. Bodies forward and the break looks on. And an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Can he play it in? Dzeko. Well, the supporters think it's on. So full time it is, and a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out, and they'll be in a great position.